Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to be solving another machine from Cybersec Labs. And the machine aim is that the machine goes by CMS. Uh, so the IP address of this machine is 172.31.1.8. So the first thing we do, guys, is we start nmap scanning. So let's go to my terminal and sudo nmap c for dot scripts s for uh, SP4 versions and we put the IP and we scan and we start. Okay, the scan has finished, and as you can see, guys, we got SSH on port 22. Uh, the SS, open SSH version is 7.6p1, and we got HTTP on port 80, and the version of the Apache server is 2.4.29. So basically, we got only two uh, services, basically SSH and HTTP. Now, what we're going to do, guys, uh, since we don't have any uh, hints about the user, our usernames or credentials uh, so that we can't write on SSH, let's go back and go to browser. And over there, we will, we will browse to the web server page. So go back, take the IP again. So as you can see, guys, we have CMS and the page of the web server. And this is, um, as you can see, guys, maybe if you have worked on WordPress before, you will see this page is probably most or most of the time it appears to be like, uh, you know, the 2014, 2013 theme of WordPress. So we may be running on WordPress. Yeah, so it's powered by WordPress. So this is a WordPress. Page and the only thing, the only the first thing we try, guys, when we see WordPress is we start with WB scan. So sudo WB scan. And the URL is go back and you enumerate everything. Okay, the scan has finished, and as we can see here, uh, we got some stuff. Uh, among the stuff is we got a vulnerable version of uh, the 2020 theme. And if you go down, we can't see any plugin that has been discovered by WB Scan. So we may need to re run the scan again, but we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do enumerate. All plugins. All right. So as we can see, guys, as we can see here, we got the same results, but here we have the plugin that has been discovered, which is there will be with uh, spritz. I have no idea what this plugin is. So let's go to Firefox and find out more about this plugin. Google English. Uh, there will be with spritz. They will be with the spritz. So the first thing that pops up, guys, is the, the, the exploit. Ironically, the, every, the, 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 uh, the first thing that pops up about exploit is the... Uh, the <laughs> okay, the scan has finished. And as you can see, guys, we got some plugins that has, have been identified among these plugins is it WP with spritz and if you do a google search on this plugin only only the name is sufficient guys to pop up the exploit <laughs> related to that plugin and uh, normally when you type something on google you get the info about uh, the stuff that you have searched they're supposed to get info about this plugin the website the developer but we haven't got anything about uh, such uh, such uh, these stuff All right, guys. Okay, the scan has finished, and the difference we have over here, uh, as you can see, we got the plugin, which is only the only plugin that is running on the WordPress installation. 
Uh, if you if we do a Google search on this plugin, because I haven't uh, heard of this plugin before, so we go back to uh, the browser and we type the name of the plugin, and it was sufficient to pop up the exploits for this plugin. Right? So basically, when you type something on Google, you're supposed to get the details about this plugin, how it works, who are the developer, but we only the only thing we got here is the exploit. So let's find out about this. WordPress plugin WP with the Spurts remote file inclusion. If we go down, see how we can get ex this exploit running. So version disclosure, source code, proof of concept. So basically here we, uh, okay, so we have remote file inclusion vulnerability. And over there, we can also domain execute. I think this is for, I have no idea, but I am familiar with that. So let's try this, copy that, go to browser, the page, and over here, we remove the slash, enter. It's like I get a reset of the machine, right? It's not responding to my requests. Yeah, so let me reset the machine from CyberSec. This machine is doing a bit of, uh, it's, a, it's a piece of work actually, all the time it's doing like this to me. Okay, we do a restart. Trying to access. Okay, so as you can see here, we have uh, succeeded in exploiting remote file inclusion in this um, WordPress. Um, so over here, guys, the, the problem is the password file is readable by, the, uh, by everyone outside the system, which means it's, it's us, right? We are the users. We are able to read. So there's a problem in the permissions of this file. That's, that's the first thing. So what we can do here, how, how can we convert the remote file inclusion into a remote shell, guys? So there are multiple ways. One of them is we go to Google and we type something like local file inclusion to RCE. So how can we convert that to remote code, code execution from local file inclusion to remote code execution part one? Upgrade or LFI to RCE via PHP sessions. Let's see this page. Go down. So this is illustrated via DVWA, Proxel. Virgin. Hmm. Let's go back. And we see here we have the handle is the PHP file of the plugin. And the parameter is URL, which is the parameter vulnerable to local file inclusion, basically. So he's saying, guys, that we can convert that. Okay. Um, as you can see, there's a variable called the agent. It is a browser where we have used to access the page. On this example, we can see that a Mozilla browser has been used. Of course, we can change our user agent as the application will include execute this file and that's our user agent name. We can try to modify user agent no. So Apache logs. Uh, here we can do that with log file poisoning. We can poison the Apache logs. Yep. But we don't need to do that. Let's uh, go down, send the emails. Let's go back, see if something else about that. So all of the ways they 
center around log poisoning, which makes sense actually, right? Since uh, log files are the only files uh, susceptible to, you know, a modification by unauthorized persons like us. So we can modify the access logs and then we can execute the log file from here. We can navigate to the log file and the code we have sent to the log file, right? It will be executed. So over here, guys, what, what they do here, uh, this is the, oh, okay. So they access the log files and after that, we change the parameter. Okay, so this seems to be a long way. We're gonna do something. Uh, instead of that, let's go back and see the results. So over here, guys, we have MySQL Angel. So we have a user called Angel, and other than that user, it seems that this user is the only user on this uh, machine. So let's go back and go to home angel sh id rsa okay so basically why i browsed to uh, to this key file why because if we get the private key of any user we can ssh or login to the SSH server of that uh, machine with this user, guys. So if we copy that private key and we go back and over here, what you can do, guys, we can open a new file, paste the private key, and then we're going to save as desktop. ID, oops, ID RSA. Okay, now let's go to desktop. The permissions of this file are okay. Now sudo sh and uh, dash. L, RDRSA, angel at, let's grab the IP of the server. So the machine has restarted and let's see if we can log in. All right, so as you can see, we have logged in as the user Angel uh, with the private key that we have just copied using the local file inclusion vulnerability. Now what we can do here, the, the next step is to escalate our privileges. So first, let's see who am I first. I am Angel, the ID. So we are part of Angel and sudo. So basically, angel is part of the sudo words. Um, let's type sudo dash i or only sudo. Okay, sudo dash l. So if we type sudo dash l, guys, we can see uh, what angel can do on the system with sudo. So over here, angel can run sudo, okay, on every command without password, without needing to put any password, which is, which is, the, which is the, 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 the most fatal mistake Linux administrators do on, the, on their systems. Leaving a user, do everything with sudo without defining what they're supposed to do, right? Or without asking for a password. That's what we're going to exploit here. So we can type here, we can type sudo dash i, and we are just root. It's very basic. It was very basic uh, challenge. It's not challenge actually, it's only a beginner machine. And the, 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 the thing that has led us to routing the machine guys is the remote file inclusion vulnerability. And why? Since the plugin is vulnerable and its parameter is also vulnerable to remote file inclusion, that's first. 
and second, the permissions on the private key, right? And uh, the permissions of the password file are incorrect. So let's find the permissions on these files. Let's go back, go to C. Well, oh, it's not running. Let me try. Ah, oh, this machine sucks actually. I don't know why server collapse do that, but it always requires me to reset. Nevertheless, uh, I want just to examine the permissions of the password and the uh, private key file, the private key over here. So we're going to do that. Uh, so you got the idea, guys. And the second mistake or the second security mistake was letting a user such as Angel run all commands on the system with sudo without asking for a password, or at least defining what can what Angel can run as sudo. Not everything can be run as sudo uh, from a regular user perspective. So that was it, and see you.